Aquarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today, I'm going to do a reading for you for the month of November. We're going to take a look at your general energy for the month, what you don't see coming, and get some important advice from spirit. I'm also going to do a little pre-shuffled uh, oracle reading for you that I'm really curious to see what the tarot is going to say for you because your oracle message are really amazing. But let's go ahead and pull the energy down for your tarot spread. And we'll get started here. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers, you're welcome. Please only take what resonates. Reverse the rules as you see fit, okay? Thank you for tuning in today. Okay, get right in there. Definitely manifesting a connection here. Ooh, I'm seeing, ooh, this is not a new connection. It's something you've been dealing with. Okay. Interesting. All right. Wow. Wow. You've got some huge energies coming up here. Okay, okay Aquarius, here we go. So your first oracle message is the, the hunter, okay? Um, I almost said the Citadel, but this is from, the, if you're curious, it's from an oracle deck called the Citadel. But what's really cool about this card, you know, when you think of a hunter, you know, when you're following prey, it takes sometimes weeks, months, right, to track an animal, and you have to be very cunning, you have to be sure-footed, right? And it's almost like you, you're putting your head down this month, and you really need to be careful with any distractions, okay? Um, you have your prey within sight. This is the end, right, of, of the tracking and the waiting period of actually getting your prey, okay? So I think that this, and we're going to see this, this definitely has to do with a love situation. And by month's end, you know, there's going to be some sort of love offer, okay? And this, it looks like, looks like well, there may be some conflict within this love offer, you're going to feel really good about it by month's end. So stay tuned for the tarot messages. But you may even have someone that you have your sights set on, okay? So this is really about, you may be tempted to slow down, but you're being encouraged this month to keep going. Keep tracking, keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you have your sights set on, keep working toward that goal, okay? Another beautiful message that I got, and this is more on the spiritual end of things, Um this is about creating more open communication, paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, just like when you're tracking an animal and you're looking for the footprints, you're looking for the direction. You need to be tapped in, right, to that cosmic universal, universal energy around us, all right? That's going to help you get there, right, to that achieved goal by the end of the month where you're feeling happy, like, yes, I did it, all right? So you've got a lot of support in the realm of spirit right? Moving along your, your pathway this month, okay? You really need to open your mind and vision to the signs and symbols that are coming from the Ascended Master realm. You may be very familiar with the Ascended Masters. You may already know who I'm talking about by your side, but this is an acknowledgement, right? That there's assistance from the other side that is going to help you along as the hunter, right? This month, whatever you're aiming for, shooting for, trying to learn about. I'm also seeing that this could be a learning opportunity, something that's going to help you grow and expand, right? From a new state of awareness, right? So knowing that you can become a clear channel of divine knowledge this month, only if you pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, all right? So, and that's something that's, this is an energy that's, that is encircling the tarot spread. So keep that in mind. It's going to inform us as we move along. Speaking of moving along, your opportunity this month is to straddle the two motorcycles and to keep rooming along. This is you taking control, having the determination, the willpower to keep moving forward. We're going to clarify what this opportunity is here for you, but it's requiring of you to keep moving. And it's also um, an indication that things are going to be really speeding up for you this month. Really speeding up for you. Because in your general overall energy, we have the Six of Cups. This is about a love connection, right? That means a lot to you. You're manifesting this love connection. It could be someone from your past. However, even though you may feel like you were together and you're a team at times, it, it, it gets very heavy too. 
There's something that's be becoming hard about the situation in the month of November, all right? And that's gonna be different for all of you. But just know that the Three of Pentacles is collaborating, working together. So you're manifesting maybe a new level of collaboration and working together as a team with this, this deep soul contract bond that you have with another, but it doesn't mean that doesn't get heavy at times. And that's very normal in all relationships, but the 10 is reaching your breaking point where you're like, something's got to give. This is too much, all right? So we're going to take a look at why. Why is it becoming harder and harder over the month of November in this connection to manifest more cooperation? Why? You know? And that opportunity is for you to keep moving forward. Does that mean you're going to be moving on? Or does that mean you just need to move past the, the difficulties, right, in this bond? Because you're what you don't see coming, I, I can't. I'm not going to lie here, Aquarius. There's there's some fiery energies coming your way. We have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So you might be dealing with another energy where you know there's there's fights that that occur, right? Maybe what you don't see coming is you might have a fight with them, and they, it's like you won the fight, but you were a jerk, right? That's a lot of the Five of Swords energy. And the Knight of Wands is, it's a very fast moving, passionate energy, but it can be very in and out. So you could be dealing with a situation that you don't trust right now, okay? What you don't see coming is you could be, oh, everything's good, we're good. It's it's hard sometimes, but what, you, what, what might be happening, because your challenge here, I'm not going to lie, we're going to share, you might see this sitting here. You have the tower, that's your challenge. So... I hate to say this, but sometime in the month of, of uh, November, Aquarius, you may have a situation with somebody in your life where you are manifesting as best you can better times, but it's challenging, right? And there's something about their behavior that is starting to become a problem and you're starting to not trust this behavior of theirs. Ultimately, this is about your own fulfillment and satisfaction and there's something about the way they're operating in the month of November or have continued to operate where you're like, man, I just... I don't think I trust the situation. It's not as fulfilling, you know, as I'd like it to be, okay? And your advice is to come out of this conflict. Five of Wands energy is pointless conflict, right? These wolves are fighting, right, each other for sticks, but they're not hurting each other, but it's annoying, all right? It's like I think that whatever conflict you're coming out of this month, Spirit is advising you to just see the pointlessness of it, okay? So if you're hanging on to some disagreements, um... It's your opportunity here is to be inspired maybe to either accept an apology, to be more forgiving, or to, or if the roles are reversed, to even apologize to them, right? You could have someone coming in trying to apologize. Let's clarify. Taking the time here. All right. Let's clarify this chariot energy. Let me see what... What is this fast-moving energy coming up for you? The chariot. Let's clarify, Spirit, the chariot. Show me the chariot. Waiting on an opportunity here, maybe for things to get better. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, your opportunity is to really figure out if this is what you want. Okay? Start it out with the... We'll go from this way here. You're fighting somebody. There's something, there's a situation where you're, you're having a disagreement. It's upsetting you. You're waiting on things to change. This is the card of waiting, looking out, waiting for a new opportunity. There's something that you want to move past this, the arguments you want to move. Your opportunity this month is to move past the pettiness, to move past the district, the little disagreements. And this doesn't have to be on a large scale, you know, a six of cups energy. It could be someone from the past that you're, you're like evaluating whether you want to move beyond this, if this is really what you want to continue, or whether it's time to come up with a new dream, okay? The dream of starting over could be the potential opportunity here for you this month. Or if this is someone you're deeply committed to, this is about overcoming the pettiness of the way you relate to one another, okay? And for those of you who are completely completely single, this is about coming out of, you know, this this desire, this conflict that you have around love that you have around your life, right? Waiting on that opportunity, like maybe it's time to like really open up. 
and open up into a new opportunity for you in your life. It's time to move past the past, okay? So that might be different for all of you here, but I am definitely seeing in November, it's time to move past the confliction, okay? Whatever is going on, whatever's going on in self or with another, it's time to move past it because you've got bigger things to do, Aquarius, than to keep quarreling with another energy, okay? That's your opportunity to move past it. What's the tower here? I think this is what the quarrel is about. That's your challenge to get through this quarrel. What is the fight here about? Yeah. Again, it's over this Knight of Cups because that's the, the Spirit's advice in the last card, the culmination of the month. Come, just so you know. Over the tower, clarifying the tower, which is upheaval, sudden change, unexpected change, unexpected events. We have, again, a combative energy. We have the Seven of Swords here, all right? So this is winning at all costs, a hollow victory, feeling like maybe you are overcoming a situation. You know, if you're overcoming a painful situation, you know, with this Ten of Wands, it's becoming heavier and heavier. It doesn't mean it's easy to walk away from the fight, right? I feel like somebody, there's a, there's... What this reading, it's screaming the buildup of resentment, right? You are the hunter. You are the hunter in this reading this month, okay? This is about being sure-footed about where you're headed. Are you sure what you have your sights set on acquiring is what you want? Spirit is advising you to overcome the conflict, right? Maybe you're conflicted for those of you about a person because this is the Six of Cups. This is past energy, Maybe you're conflicted and I'm seeing this, uh, your sister sign Gemini is having this problem, this dilemma over like, whether it's a conflict within yourself and your mind, do I really want this person? Is it just the wanting of them, the wanting of them to come back and give me an apology? Or is this a conflict of you opening up to a new opportunity and being ready for love again? Or is this you being in a partnership and being like, you know what? We got to stop fighting over this petty crap. All right. Because this situation needs to come into balance and one of us needs to freaking apologize. I feel like you've been in a stalemate regardless, whatever category you're in here, single together or looking, I mean, looking together or wanting someone to come back. You know, when I say single, I mean really ready to open up into something new. You're over your past. This really is about coming back into balance. Your challenges, can this situation be balanced? This is about accepting someone's apology, Gemini. I think you definitely have somebody, no matter who you are in this these scenarios, this is about accepting someone's apology, allowing something to change and transform, blending, bringing this energy down, right? Alchemizing this energy from the magician energy. Because your advice here is, you know, there's something about the situation Um I think you're going to get more clear this month on this person. Something's going to become so clear this month. I mean, the five of swords, the knight of wands, and the seven of swords, that is being in conflict with someone who's not being trustworthy in the way they're dealing with you. And it's not satisfying for you. But we need to get some clarification on, I want to clarify, I'm pretty clear on, let's clarify the ten of wands. What is so heavy right now for you why is this becoming hard to come together this is about you you know the the fool is someone as you can see here he's got he's carrying a white rose which is the symbol of purity and innocence are can you look at the situation from a new perspective right from the perspective of an ascended master right whispering in your ear can you can you clearly communicate right not from a place of pain and overwhelmment from a place of a brand new beginning I think you have an opportunity to drop the burden of the past for those of you who are with someone and take that risk into actually genuinely forgiving this person and you guys making those adjustments, right? To improve things, either apologizing or accepting someone's apology is gonna be critical. And this could be a family situation, right? If you don't even wanna care about love today, this is about you really forgiving someone in your life. That's the challenge. Can you forgive, right? Is your opportunities to come out of conflict with this person or this family member. 
And I'm getting a very big message for you singles out there. In order for you to open up and take a risk in the month of November and welcome in a new opportunity, you got to start trusting and love again. All right. The full energy. It's, you know what? You're willing to open up, right? Like, think of the way you opened up to your first love. You didn't have any baggage there. You're like, I'm just going to go for it, right? And it was innocent. It was gentle. So be gentle with yourself opening up into a new opportunity because you do. You have a new opportunity coming. What is the Seven of Swords? What is it you don't trust about this situation? The Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify the Five of Swords. Strength. Yeah. And the Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles. Yeah. This is about... Wow. I'm glad I did that. I think you're going through... This is a very much a couple reading. And I'm sorry, singles. We'll get you next month or the next reading. Not next month. Because I'm going to... I'm going to... I just say next month for the overall. I'm sure you'll, you'll pop up. But I think this... This is a very big reading for you couples out there. This is the queen and, queen and king of pentacles. Whatever you guys are doing in your fighting style, is it eroding? It is eroding at the love. Your personal satisfaction is very important this month, Aquarius. You are headed for a tower moment and it's going to require you to be very strong. I think you both are having these sudden realizations, right? Around a situation, either what you're both contributing to or whether the person you're with isn't who you think they are. And it's going to require you to be very, very strong here and to look at the signs and synchronicities. How's this person behaving? How are they showing up? It's like you have your sights set on something, but you, you, you need to really keep moving forward, right? This is about putting your head down and, and re removing all the distractions. So you could have somebody that you're with Aquarius that it's like, don't be distracted by all the smoke and mirrors and, and the physical attraction here. If you've got someone that you don't trust coming in and out of your life and every time you confront them, it they blow up, all right? This is about your stability here. This is also about you couples that are just navigating pettiness and, and, and arguments as being strong enough to move past them, right? Focus on healing, healing these. Wow. I think that... There's going to either be a complete 180 in what you think might be the end in a situation with somebody that you deeply care about. They're pointing at the Six of Cups to look at the bottom. Because we have the Six of Cups on the table, another Six of Cups. It's a past person. You're manifesting your way out of hurt. This is a past person. This is a past person. You want to move past this conflict. This is a very similar reading to, you could be dealing with a Gemini. What's this five of wands? The chariot. Yeah. This is a repeating message. Okay. This is a repeating message. Four of wands. Yep. We're just going to do that. Yep. All right. Your advice from spirit this month. I'm telling you, Gemini. I'm Jonah. Aquarius. Yes. You might have Gemini placements. So this is a double message. This is a double, double message here. If you're listening to both of these readings back to back and you either have Gemini Aquarius placements or you one of you is a Gemini and one of you is an Aquarius, definitely in the moon placement because that's your emotional state. In order to feel victorious, right, with this person, you got to move past this feeling that this is eliciting. And it's about opening up and accepting someone's apology here. I, I have I have a strong vibe different than the I really felt in the Gemini reading that it was not a healthy situation because we had the devil energy showing up. But in this reading, I really do see the potential if this is about a either a someone who's continuously wounding you in a love situation, this is about you opening up and forgiving them, okay, or reverse the roles because now is the chance if you guys can move past that you can really rebuild right rebuild that foundation and move past the the con conflict because you want to you are going to feel that there wow this is really interesting spirit is saying that by month's end you're going to overcome this conflict all right whether you've had a period of separation or whether you are you 
in the past month have been thinking about leaving a relationship, you're going to have a 180. Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be a 180 in a situation. You're going to feel victorious by month's end. Things are going to come back together. Okay, you're going to get your wishes. It's off in the distance. Like it, it's not going to feel perfect by month's end, but the repair work, whatever rift you had or this trust, this fallout, this hurt that this person put you through recently, you're going to move past it. Right? You're going to come out of this because you're going to get the apology that you're looking for. You're going to get the remorse. You're going to get the softening. Right, If you've been dealing with this, I feel like you got your sights set on a person and, and them showing up in the correct way. And I really need you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities this month. This is about a reconciliation for those of you that are separated from someone and about getting your wish here. You've been patient. You've, it's been a very big conflict. And I think that you've been waiting for things to come back together. I've, you've got two towers on the table around this coming back together again. But you've got to forgive them. In order to come out of this icky feeling, you're not as trapped as you think you are. But this Knight of Cups, they're coming in. And you, you have a love offer coming in from someone from the past. And I do believe they're coming in correct. It's your wish for them to come in correct. And you're going to sell this person that you want back. Whatever you've gone through in the past, the hurt that you've had. I think it had everything to do with them not picking you, not choosing you. The opportunity here was for them to come out of the conflicted state they've been in and, and freaking get their head out of their ass and realize that you're the person that they want. I think that there's been a delay of the two of you coming together. And maybe you had a new beginning, but they've been waffling. They've been waffling, Aquarius, but the, you're going to build a new, you're going to build a whole new chapter here with them. You guys are moving forward fast into building a new life together. It was like whatever indecision they had, it's changing this month. It's changing big time. we got two Knight of Cups. This is their energy and it's going to be balanced, but this is going to require a lot of forgiveness on your part, Aquarius. Can you forgive? That's the question. Can you forgive? They're telling me to pull three more cards for the final. And I know I got your message from Spirit here, your advice. But they're telling me to pull three more cards so you can get one last picture here. Because we got a little extra time. I went faster with you guys. I'm trying to. It's a lot of information. Yeah. Wow. This is for some of you. This is you saying, I'm done. For others of you, this is you coming into balance, realizing that in order for you to move forward, you have to release the pain of the past. The Ten of Swords is that's it. I'm not going to deal with that pain anymore. I'm back. I'm coming into balance with myself, right? And charging ahead and moving past this. Because we have two Six of Cups on the table and two Towers, and ultimately advice from Spirit saying the Four of Wands and the Chariot, I do believe that you're coming out of a state of conflict with another person that you want to be with, but you got to be very careful here. Very careful about making sure that this is what you want. Okay. Some of you, you're done. Others of you, because you need to be honest with yourself about what this person is giving you and what they've done in the past. For most of you, I do believe you have someone coming back and they're coming in sincerely wanting another chance because they've realized how much they love you and how much they messed up. And if, and if this is someone that you relatively met or meet, you, you meet in this month and you're still carrying a lot of pain from the past, you're going to be terrified of opening up to this person and, and it's going to take you a lot of strength to open up but it's going to be really beautiful because I think they're going to help you heal. So for those of you that are single, I do get this message too, that it's time for you to come back into balance and release the pain of the past. Okay. Two huge groups of people here now with the chariot. You're moving forward regardless this month, a lot of movement past the conflict and into a brand new beginning. All right. Really pay attention to the signs and synchronicities here, but by month's end, you're going to get your wish. Your wish is definitely coming here. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But you got you to gotta get over the hurt and heal the hurt 
and let go of this pain. Ultimately, this is about you letting go of the pain and forgiving. Okay. All right. This is as much as I, blah, this is the message I have for you, Aquarius, for the month of November. Yeah. I know that this is going to be a difficult decision for you, but I wouldn't advise you to go toward it if I didn't think it was what you wanted. And I'm, you're telling me it is. Your opportunity, your opportunity is the same as Spirit's advice here, is to move forward and really rebuild with this person, okay? Because it's what you want. It is. And if this is a brand new opportunity, this is what you want. Whoever's coming towards you and they seem to have it all together, all right? You got a King of Pentacles, so you're going to be like, I don't know about you. I've been through a lot of hurt. This is a good thing. So Aquarius, either stick it out with someone that you've been going through a rough time with. Forgive someone from the past if they want to come back. Or forgive your past and open up to a new opportunity, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next one.